Whenever you find yourself consuming a shonen series or any kind of action series that uses a power system, do you ever find yourself looking at all these incredible moments and are just hypnotized by the meticulous detail and spectacle being showcased? If so, then you, my friend, have been pulled in and drawn in by that series' power system. When you look at an action-based manga or anime series that you enjoy, you may have several reasons for why you adore it. These reasons could include the characters, the world and setting, the plot, or the breathtaking action. Well, all of these elements of a compelling title can all be enhanced with the creation and implementation of a compelling power system. Before continuing, however, we must define what a power system is for further clarity. Game Rant describes power systems in anime as Universal factors most characters within a given universe can utilize for many reasons. With that definition put in place, examples of what a power system includes is Nen in Hunter x Hunter, Stans in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and Hockey slash Devil Fruits in One Piece. Each of these are power systems created by their author to be a measurable and engaging way for their characters to fight with one another in a visually interesting way. The most popular implementations of power systems appear in series from Shonen Jump, but are not necessarily limited to Shonen series. Power systems are a way of injecting the supernatural or fantasy into a fictional world that can be very distant or closely related to our own. With worlds that are closely related to our own, adding power systems to them often has the effect of accentuating its fantastical elements, while using the viewer's experiences of how this system would affect the real world. Examples of series that use power systems in worlds that are closely related to ours include Chainsaw Man and Jojo. In Chainsaw Man, most of the drama and heart of the series comes from the fact that it is viscerally grounded in our own reality and the human experience. In Jojo, the world is mostly the same, having the same countries and locations as in our world. However, I am not bringing these examples up to say that these power systems are ordinary. They are both extremely bizarre. Where Chainsaw Man, all the characters are one step away from psychopaths, and in Jojo, every character is just extremely gay. There are also power systems that add an even greater fictional element to an already very cartoonish world. Think of Hunter x Hunter and One Piece. Hunter x Hunter with Nen and One Piece with Devil Fruits use these power systems to go completely balls to the wall to give you systems to immerse yourself in a world that may seem distant or unrelatable to our own. I often find that the effect of adding an extremely creative power system to a world that is already very fantastical allows for some of the most creative battles in fiction, but this is also the style that is some of the hardest to pull off. However, whether the fictional world be grounded or very distant from our real world, engaging power systems must always follow a set of rules, because when it comes to battles of any kind, there must be consistency and rules. I have noticed that when comparing fights from Western cartoons and media versus Eastern cartoons and media, the power systems in Japanese media can very often be tied to the idea of mind games, where the goal is not just to be stronger than your opponent by brute force, but that the path to victory comes from outsmarting your opponent during the fight. I find this approach to be extremely unique because you can have situations where each fighter has an equal power level, but the only way that one side can win is by exploiting weaknesses and outsmarting the other. Mind games are a big part of action and non-action based shows, where you can have the same concept of outsmarting your opponent with your 300 IQ be found in battle series like JoJo where you have fights about cheating in poker, or winning a beetle fighting match, or in a romance manga like Kaguya-sama where the whole plot revolves around the mind games that occur in the battlefield of love. Now, let's talk about the elements that make a power system engaging for the audience to become further invested in your series. It is important to remember as we go further that all the storytelling elements I will be talking about are optional in the creation of stories, as I'm sure with each one of my points, each one of you can think of at least one show that breaks these rules. This ultimately is what is amazing about effective storytelling, as it can break every rule in the book as long as it is written properly. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. One of the most basic elements of a power system that takes it from a standard inclusion to a game changer is how a series' creator breaks up the monotony of constant fighting with abilities that seem fresh to the viewer. For example, if a power system is implemented just to allow the characters to punch harder, that can seem stale over time as there is not much variety and it can become quite repetitive. Therefore, in order to make the viewer engage with what is going on on screen, having a power system that allows for a variety of different powers and moves can be a major boost to your work that makes it stand out from other series. Some of the most popular shonen series have a power system that as you go from one fight to the next, it makes you excited to see what the powers of the opponent are and what unique scenario the creator sets up to make it memorable and visually appealing for the audience. One of the best power systems in anime and manga is Hunter x Hunter's Nen abilities. The series goes into such painstaking detail explaining how Nen works, the classes of Nen users, and how one can develop their own Nen powers for combat. 
Because the manga goes into such detail of explaining how variety can be created from this power system, throughout the series I was consistently amazed at all of the powers each character has and how distinct they all are from each other. Having variety in powers and fights in your anime and manga series can elevate your work beyond other generic works that lack these elements, as showing off your creativity to your audience allows them to become more invested and appreciative of your work. I may not have a brain, gentlemen, but I have an idea. Have you ever wondered why in your favorite battle series you see the characters make so many plans on screen and explain them in painstaking detail? Well, this is an element that is universal in storytelling. This element can be summed up in one simple phrase, plans are created to fail. This element can be tied to power systems because authors that use them in their manga now have an extra facet for creating plans that are unique to that particular series. In the viewer's mind, when a character makes plans, they are to give the audience expectations of how a certain situation is going to go based on the knowledge that they have. Characters making what seem like foolproof plans enhance the writing of the story in two primary areas. One, to showcase the intelligence of the main characters to overcome the challenges that have been presented to them, and two, use the foiling of these plans to show the exceeding intelligence of the opposing force or the cruelty of circumstance if the plan happens to fail by chance or some twist. If presented to the viewer in a digestible and engaging way, characters creating plans with the challenges the plot creates can make the viewer intrigued at how well the plan is going to be executed and when the plan eventually fails, how it was foiled. As people, creating plans is one of our most valuable tools when presented with challenges. However, in battles with power systems, what is really happening with the creation and destruction of plans is the author is taking your hope and making it a tangible variable in their fights. For example, when the main character's plan is going flawlessly so far, better than expected actually, as if you were invested in the story, you're supposed to be thinking, holy shit, the plan is working, they might actually have a chance to win this, all the trials they've had to overcome will be paid off. Then something unexpected happens while the plan was succeeding, which makes you think, oh, no, 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 it was going so well. How are they going to complete the mission now? After a while of this, the situation can escalate further as it takes a turn for the worse and gets you thinking, that's it, everything's over. Can they even win anymore? It looks impossible. However, there is one last twist and the heroes adapt to the situation and ultimately accomplish their initial goal. And as a viewer, that roller coaster of emotions, it makes you want to jump out of your chair and just say, yes, they did it. Let's fucking go. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? In fights or even in normal situations, using tools like plans with power systems allows the creator to control the audience's sense of hope to make you even more engaged than you were before. However, there is such a thing in anime and manga as over planning, which can be just as bad as no planning at all, because honestly, bro, I'm not fucking reading all that shit. Watch your tone. I'm sensitive and will cry. This final point in this video is one that I believe is the most important if you would like to implement a power system into your series. That point being, the power system should match the tone of the show and corroborate on themes that the show is already presenting. Chainsaw Man, mentioned earlier, has a very nihilistic and depressing outlook on life in the beginning. Denji, at the start of the manga, is quite literally at the lowest point someone can be in in our world. He is in debt to crime lords, he can only afford stale bread on good days, and has to sell his organs to make payments to his crime overlords. So basically, he is the happiest New York City resident of all time. Have you seen the shed he lives in? Look at how much square footage it offers. Ungrateful Denji, this shed is $5,000 a month. You should be grateful it's this cheap. But hopefully you understand what I am getting at here. Chainsaw Man's world is very dismal and a very depressing take on how our world can often seem. Now, in order for the author, Tatsuki Fujimoto, to implement a power system into the series, it should match the tone and reinforce the themes of the show. Thankfully, the power system used matches the depressing tone quite well, as all of the main characters have to make packs with devils in order to gain supernatural powers and fight one another and other devils. Because of how this power system is implemented, the tone is consistent through the series. All the devils summoned look gross and are cruel to the people that they make pacts with, as well as slaughter innocent bystanders. Using imagery of what humans consider to be the most disgusting and cruel creatures as the foundation of your power system works quite well for a story about how you can find beauty in the world, despite how cruel reality can seem at times throughout all the hardship. Having a power system that is tonally consistent with your series allows for a more immersive experience for the reader. It can be noted that authors can also purposefully create a power system with a tone that is inconsistent from their story, which can be an element utilized by a comedy or parody series making fun of itself. When authors utilize power systems in their works, it can be a way to greatly enhance their story, and if you are able to follow the above steps, then you will be one step closer to making your own series more engaging for your audience. Or you can just ignore all of the above rules and do your own thing, because that's the fun thing about storytelling. As long as something is well written and tasteful, you can break as many rules as you want. 
Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. Another one of the books for me. I hope you all enjoyed the last video of me trying out some new stuff as I did kind of with this video as well. If you liked what you watched, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe for more of my content to get more of it in your feed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.